Hey guys, Jonathan Rose. So yesterday we had all these posts in our coaching room. NASDAQ is most expensive. NASDAQ's going to sell off. Here's the exact reason how we knew that the NASDAQ was the most expensive equity indice and why we thought there was a high probability for it to sell off. Let's get going. In front of you, this is a proprietary tool. It's called Equity Edge. Look here, right here. The bolded lines are going to be the at the money strata. So right here, if we go down to the data box, you can see the, the NASDAQ's at 7,000, S&P's at 4,000, Russell's at 3,000, and then the upper and lower, upper, lower, and then S&P. The upper and lower, guys, it's the at-the-money straddle for front month implied volatility. As option traders know, when the outright market gets close to the implied volatility levels, it's going to act as resistance and it's going to act as support. So what do we have here? Well, in April, right now it's April 21st. This is what the market looks like. Okay, this is all of April. And if we go to the beginning, you can see all the indices. Russell's down 4,000, but pretty much close to zero. And the implied volatility bands are about 20,000. Well, throughout April, the market has rallied. The market has rallied. You can see NASDAQ here. NASDAQ's the white started getting expensive relative to the other ones. But the implied volatility for NASDAQ wasn't getting really more expensive than the other ones. NASDAQ got really expensive. Everything started to sell off. The NASDAQ was still at its implied volatility band yesterday. Yesterday morning, we were saying we want to get short NASDAQ. Here are posts to prove it. And now NASDAQ is rolling over. Again, you can see clearly in the month of April, the NASDAQ is way more expensive than the Russell, S&P, and the Dow. Got right up to its implied volatility band and sold off. This is Equity Edge. This allows us to look at the market just using P&L. So if you would have sold one NASDAQ when it was up 24,000 and now it's up 17,000, you would just make the difference. We don't look at things in ticks. We look at things in PNL, but that's exactly how we knew the market would sell off yesterday. My name is Jonathan Rose. I'm the owner of Masters in Trading.